Coming up on this HTV News Show, we have information on Dress Up Day, the Olympics, class competition, cotillion, and the Super Bowl. All this and much, much more coming up on this Thursday, February 7th, 2022, Blue, Blue Day edition of the HTV News Show. Let's go. Hey, Crocker. It's Trevor. And Jack. Let's head over to our top story. Crocker, tomorrow there will be a Spirit Day dress up called Decades Day. The radio team will be playing music from these times at lunch to today and tomorrow to get everyone in the mood. There are different decades for each grade to dress up as. The 6th graders will dress up in 60s, 7th graders in 70s, and 8th graders in the 80s. Let's go, Crocker. Hi, Vikings. Next Friday, February 11th is Decades Day. 8th grade dress up in your 80s gear, 7th in your 70s, and 6th in your 60s. Here are some examples of what you can wear. Century is open to interpretation. See you on Friday. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Crocker. This year's Olympics Games has been especially difficult on the athletes. There's a lot of pressure to perform while in the Games. In addition to the proto COVID protocols has added extra challenges. Some athletes have tested positive for the virus, including Vincent Zhou, one of the three male, male figure skaters who tested positive for COVID on Monday. Right before this, his individual event, he was withdrawn from the Olympics and will return home to Palo Alto, California. On Tuesday, Jesse Diggins won the first ever U.S. Olympic medal for cross-country skiing. The U.S. got his first gold medal when Lindsey Jaco Bellis won for snowboarding on Wednesday. Hey Crocker, we will have a class competition tomorrow and it is called Marshmallow Drop. There will be two representatives from each grade participating. One will stand on a ladder and drop chocolate covered marshmallows into another person's mouth. The second participant will be laying on the ground underneath the ladder, catching the marshmallows in their mouth. This is looking like it's going to be an awesome class competition. Get ready Crocker. Hi Vikings, it's me with another Spirit Point update. First of all, we want to thank everyone who participated in anything but a backpack day in the scavenger hunt. We had great participation, so we wanted to thank everyone. Our scavenger hunt placings were in third place with 156 points, eighth grade, in second place with 178 points, seventh grade, and in first place with 455 collected points was sixth grade. So nice job, sixth grade. In total, in third place with 6,415 points, we have eighth grade in second place with 6,724 points, only 300 points ahead is seventh grade. And in first place with 7,487 points is sixth grade. So again, nice job sixth grade. If you're unhappy with these numbers, our next class competition spirit day is February 11th, next Friday, and it will be decades day. So dress up in your assigned decade and stay tuned for your class VP to send something out for our marshmallow drop. Bye, Vikings. Hey, Crocker. It's Matthew with the birthdays for this week. Wish a happy birthday to Harriet, Caroline, William, Hannah, Nicholas, Audrey, and Catherine. Happy birthday to you guys. President's Day is a federal holiday that is a memorial for the past presidents. The day, originally around George Washington's birthday, became federally recognized in the late 1870s, and it is a day to remember the presidents, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Due to this upcoming holiday, we will have a long weekend coming up next week for President's Day. So remember to tell your parents that there's no school on Friday the 18th and Monday the 21st. Have a great long weekend, Crocker. Hi, Crocker. This is Mrs. Gilchrist with Library News. There are tons of great books in the library for you to read. February is Black History Month. We are celebrating great black authors such as Jason Reynolds, Jewel Parker Rhodes, and Sharon Draper. Come check out the display honoring these terrific authors. Also on display, we have an author spotlight on Jane Yolen, who has a birthday coming up. And right inside the library door is a selection of football-related books in recognition of Sunday's Super Bowl. Come find a great book to read. In other library news, come on in on Monday for some fun Valentine activities. Happy reading, Crocker. Hey, it's Hayden with your forecast for this week. This week, look forward to highs in the 60s and lows in the 50s that carry over nicely into the weekend. There will be partly cloudy skies, so get out and enjoy. This Friday, February 25th, there is going to be an awesome Lunar New Year celebration taking place during lunch. A group of Crocker parents are working really hard to bring this event together, which will include delicious, individually packed food and fun activities, and personalized bookmarks with your name in Chinese calligraphy. If you take Mandarin with Mrs. Shaw Yu, then you are required to attend, the, attend, but everyone is welcome to encourage to come. RSVP through the Google form, which can be found in the email Mr. Hager sent. See you there, Crocker. 
Sixth grade has intramurals on Monday. The matchups for the game for game one will be Rabbits versus Stingrays and Falcons versus Knights. And game two will be Barons versus Monarchs and Phantoms versus Senators. Go, good luck, sixth graders. This Monday at 6.30, the sixth graders will start cotillion. Cotillion is where students learn respectful manners and how to ballroom dance. Enjoy learning and having fun at your cotillion, sixth graders. Hey Crocker, it's me, Sean. This weekend is the Super Bowl. The Los Angeles Rams will be playing the Bengals in Los Angeles at the Rams' home SoFi Stadium. The Rams will be wearing white and the Bengals will be wearing black. The team wearing white has won eight of the past 11 Super Bowls. Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford was acquired this offseason, and this is his first season with the Rams and his first Super Bowl. Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow is playing in the Super Bowl in only his second season in the league. The Bengals were the worst team in their division last year. That's all for sports. Fifth grade Crocker tools will be had this Saturday. Thank you to all the students on the Dream Team who are helping out with this and giving the um, incoming students a wonderful welcome. It's Trevor. And Jack, signing off. See you later, Crocker.